to millions of set-top boxes, cable and satellite. So rather than having to pay extra for equipment, those uh, 100 bucks or so, those several hundred bucks, you could get it as part of your cable or satellite service. Bang, just like that. Watch out for details on Videoscape. This is going to be very, very big. And Skype, in addition to what they're doing on the TV, is also reaching out to a developer to community to come up with the interesting applications. Think about this. You could see, through Skype, or Cisco, or Logitech, or Google TV's own maybe video calling system down the road, you could see all sorts of applications where, let's say, a teacher, going back to what Alan said, could um, connect directly to his students, or her students, or one student, and give them homework assignments, or update them on what's going on in a particular subject. Or a doctor could reach out to one of their patients at home and give them vital information. If you saw NBC Nightly News last night, Nancy Snyderman had a very important story about breast cancer with lymph nodes, which could make a difference for millions of women across the country that are facing that issue. What if Nancy could reach out to individual NBC News viewers through a Skype or through a mass video conference available in the comfort of their homes by television? What if you had a personal digital assistant where you could contact 24-7 to arrange your airline reservations, your hotel stays, your conferences, et cetera, et cetera, or deal with emergencies. That could be, if not just the next form of social TV, maybe the ultimate social TV. So that's why I believe that we are just as big as Facebook and Twitter is with the TV set, we may be on the verge of a huge, huge communication medium. And that's why I think it not only bears watching, but it's also important that uh, the people who could fund this revolution or this evolution of television, take your pick of words, the venture capitalists, the angel investors, the super angels and VCs, the Y Combinators, the tech stars should get off their butt and start funding and get off the coffee, get off it, stop making excuses, stop passing the buck about why you don't do television and get involved. Because maybe the more they get involved, maybe at the rate of a billion or two a year, uh, the more we could get these benefits. And I think everybody does have a chance to benefit out of this. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Alan. Okay.